We present Let's Go, an explicit and efficient multi-resolution modeling and rendering framework for large-scale garages using LiDAR-assisted Gaussian primitives. Our self-designed handheld polar scanner, equipped with IMU, LiDAR and a fisheye camera, can collect accurate LiDAR and image data of garage scenes. When collecting, we walk along the common vehicle driving trajectory. Our Garage World dataset captures the intricate details of eight large-scale garages. This includes point clouds, meshes, colored fisheye images, and their corresponding parameters. Here, we present a captured underground garage on campus, with two densely scanned regions. We use the same method to collect data from three shopping malls, office buildings, an art center, and a subway garage, each averaging over 20,000 square meters in size. Our Garage World dataset encompasses a wide range of garage types, including underground garages, outdoor parking, and indoor garages with multiple floors. The colored point clouds serve as the initialization for Gaussians. By using these collected colored point clouds as Gaussian initialization and geometry proxy, our method significantly reduces floating artifacts and enables high-quality rendering. First, we downsample the dense LiDAR point cloud into different resolution point clouds to initialize Gaussian models at different levels. We use the same regularization terms, including photometric loss and geometry loss, to train each level of Gaussians independently. Then, we select 3D Gaussians from different resolution levels based on depth ranges to predict the final LOD rendering results. Here, we show our final LOD rendering result and each individual Gaussian level. More technical details can be found in our technical paper. By integrating our LOD rendering strategy, we've developed a lightweight renderer that works well on devices like the iPad Pro and MacBook Pro. We use an octree structure to manage our multi-resolution Gaussian representation, perfectly suited for this task. Gaussians at each level are stored in nodes at the corresponding depths of the octree. Our lightweight renderer then dynamically selects the relevant octree chunks from disk based on the viewer's frustum and our LOD rendering strategy. With our LOD rendering strategy, we also implement a CUDA renderer based on vanilla SIBR viewer, which boosts the rendering speed by 2 to 10 times. We demonstrate that our LiDAR points assist a suite of Gaussian splatting algorithms, and compare our approach with other methods using the LiDAR data captured by our polar device as input. Our method greatly avoids floating artifacts in empty space and preserves most of the texture details. We also compare our method with some concurrent works which also leverage LOD techniques. In our Garage World dataset, we achieve the best rendering quality without obvious floater problems. Compared to high-end devices, our web renderer achieves reasonable rendering quality. Our method and dataset support various autonomous driving applications, such as generating data for autonomous driving algorithms and enhancing autonomous vehicle parking by complementing sensor readings. Our LiDAR-assisted garage modeling and rendering also benefit autonomous vehicle localization and navigation by providing accurate 3D references and a comprehensive understanding of the environment. We align the extracted camera trajectory with one of our garage scenes and render the corresponding video to create compelling visual effects of a car drifting inside a garage. We plan to release the code and the anonymized datasets to simulate significant future work. Thank you for watching.